Hey everyone, here's our daily meditation for the 3rd of August. Sometimes in life there are situations that we don't expect. I'm in one now in a sense as we are unexpectedly self-isolating until we get the results of a COVID-19 test this week. But the question is, what should we do in times like these? Well, our verse for today gives us an answer. The verse comes from Psalm 89 verses 1 and 2 which say, I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. Here the psalmist declares the faithfulness of God. The theme of this opening section is straightforward. God, in raising up David and his line to be kings for his people, has displayed his steadfast love and his faithfulness. These words, which to me evoke a fundamental aspect of God's character, his enduring love for his people. This theme appears throughout the book of Psalms. In truth, the whole of the scriptures abound with declarations that God is faithful. Since we live in a world that is constantly changing and face many disappointments along the way, it's reassuring to be regularly reminded of this. One definition of the word faithful is being worthy of trust. And this description certainly applies to the God of the Bible because he has repeatedly proven that his word is sure and that he can be trusted. The Apostle Paul reminds us in Titus 1 that God cannot lie. Because he is holy, it's impossible for him to declare anything but truth or make any promise that will not be kept. It may seem to us at times that God has forgotten us, but we must remember that God works on his own timetable. And just because we do not see immediate evidence of his promise being fulfilled, it doesn't mean he's forsaken us. No matter how bleak our future may appear today, or how unexpected our circumstances, we can be assured that God's promise is certain when he promises to never leave or forsake us. Despite our sufferings and trials, we can have confidence that God will be with us and even use the difficulties to teach and draw us closer to him. He will not let anything separate us from him. He is keeping us by his power. Having begun a good work in us, he will not abandon it, but will bring it to consummation so that one day we will be safely home with him forever. God bless.